Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 190 on the Mana League. I'm John as always, and we've got one last uh, Ultimate Masters draft here. Uh, but if you are watching this on Saturday, the day this video goes up, you should go over to twitch.tv slash the Mana League because at 4.30 p.m. Pis uh, bloop, not Pacific, Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing a paper draft of this format, again, with overhead camera, card recognition software, etc., just like we just did with Unstable. Don't know how I feel about this format. I think we're going to take this devoted druid here for some ramp stuff. Don't know how I feel. Uh, I've done two or three drafts of this, and it's not great. It's uh, it's very Umbra heavy. It's very much the same thing over and over and over. Um, I've tried blue red spells. I tried black green dredge stuff. Went one and two in both of them. Just not having a great, great time with this format. Um, so yeah, I think we're taking the druid here. Um, there's a hoot. There's a prey upon. Not too much else going on this pack. Nothing that really drags us into a into an archetype. So I'll just take the druid here. Uh, dig through time is decent. That helps us draw quite a bit. There's another hooting mandrels. There's a grave scrabbler, which is fine if you get into the black green madness deck. Um, but yeah, I think we might just go for this dig through time. Green blue is what madness maybe. Maybe not madness. Green blue. Green blue was madness back in standard. Way, 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 way back when. Um, yeah, dig through time is just a good card. There's a moan as well. Moan's pretty decent. Um, yeah, let's take this dig and see where we go. Uh, well, if we do want to do graveyardy stuff, we've got a brawn, which is very good in the graveyard. If we have a whole bunch of removal, canker abominations, fine. Um, Flight of Fancy is surprisingly decent. Resurrection, but... Two Resurrections, actually. But I find getting the reanimate... I've never seen the reanimation deck... A, a, actually, I don't think I've ever played against the reanimation deck. And I've never seen it open in the draft. Um, so I'm not sold on taking a Resurrection and just totally getting an actual relevant target for it. So yeah, we've got the Brawn. Which I think is good. We could just go like big green, blue, stompy auras. Get ourselves some boar umbers or something. So yeah, let's take a brawn here. Now there's the there's the magic bullet card that destroyed me in two separate matches. Um, but it's not a good card. You should not be playing this. Uh, you choose a, cre a card name and you have protection from that name. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It, it's barely a pacifism, not even really a pacifism. The creature can still block. Um, yeah, I don't like it. So we've got Fecundity. Uh, whenever a creature dies, that creature draw, that creature's controller may draw a card. Yeah. Penumbra Worm's fine. I'm honestly really swayed by this Wicker Bow, Wicker Bow Elder just because there are so many stupid enchantments that uh, it can do some very, very, very good work. Um, Penumbra Worm is a good ramp target for the Devoted Druid. It already has Trample. I think we can get the Wickerboro Elder, so I think we'll come back to that. And I think we will take the Penumbra Worm here. There's also a Meringue River Prowler, which is fine. But yeah, let's take the Worm. Uh, well, here's a Wickerboro Elder. Wickerbo Elder. Uh, buried Alive again. Uh, another way to get to that uh, reanimation deck. And I mean, maybe we could be Green Black Reanimator. Like here, at least, we have a card that lets us put the three amazing creatures we want into the graveyard, right? Um, the trick is... The trick is we only reanimate in black with a rare card, right? Oh, no, I guess uh, Unburial Rites is uncommon as well. So, I mean, Buried Alive is an option here. Um, and we don't know what we are yet. And, like, this is a reanimation target. So I'll take this Buried Alive on spec, but we're going to have to find the non-burial rights, which I don't know that we're going to do. And we just get a travel prep. At this point, I'm pretty happy to just flip on, flip on over into green-white and just be stupid travel prep dot deck. Because um, the only other choice is Crushing Canopy for green, which we can get one if we want one. If we want to go blue for that dig, eh, there's fine cards here. And if we want to go black, there's a fine card here, but I I'm happy just taking this travel prep. Really late, too. One, two, three, four, five, six pick travel prep. That feels to me like uh, we, we could have the, the option here. Ulamog's Crusher is probably fine with Devoted Druid. If we do end up getting into 
Reanimator, well, that's a great reanimator target. Um, yeah, there's not much else here. So yeah, let's take a Crusher. Uh, we get a Basking Root Walla. We get a Golgari Thug, which is very good for getting stuff in the graveyard. There's a Graveyard Scrabbler as well. A lot of good stuff going on here. Uh, Whirlwind Adept, if we do want to be the green-blue Aura's Hexproof deck, which honestly just wins a ludicrous amount of the time, right? And with Travel Prep, looks even better. And this late? Yeah, I think we take it. I think the reanimation stuff is just too cute. Let's go with the Whirlwind Adept here. Let's just be unfair. Uh, Prey Upon is fine. Prey Upon is certainly okay. Uh, Hooting Mandrels would be fine. Nothing else here we super want, so let's take Prey. Um, now I think we can take, I don't know, maybe we just go, just go Heroic here. We've got Travel Prep, which is ugly with Heroic. And we can start picking up Umbras, so we can be the Umbra deck. Uh, yeah, let's take Staunchart. Stitcher's Apprentice is fine. Um, but maybe we just actually take Shed Weakness. It's another heroic trigger. I do like Stitchers, though. Let's take Stitchers. Uh, we're cutting this buried alive. We're not playing it. Um, Fecundity, Crushing Canopy. I will take Crushing Canopy. We might even main deck it. Uh, we haven't gotten a Wicker Bow. Well, now we've gotten a Wicker Bow Elder, so there we go. So I don't think we have to main deck that Crushing Canopy. And very happy to see a Wicker Bow. There's another Crushing Canopy. Cool. And a Walker. I don't think we'll play a walker, but you can hang out here for now. All right, we have an idea. We have an idea. We just got to find the Umbras, maybe one or two more Whirlwind Adepts, and maybe we'll be okay. Maybe. We get a Phyrexian Altar. That's not good. But we get an Eternal Witness, which is good. It's very much good. Uh, return any card we want from the graveyard. Very, very, very good card. Gorgeous art, too. Look at that leaf dog. Um, there's a canker. There's a verdant eidolon, which is not great. Uh, Stitcher's apprentice, a skull keeper. Uh, yeah, pretty happy to take an eternal witness here. Just gotta find umbras. We want eel umbra. Ooh, sorry, sorry, microphone. We want eel umbras. We want um, boar umbras. Boar is the green one, right? Um, spider umbras. Snake Umbra. I feel like there's got to be another blue Umbra that I'm forgetting. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they're primarily green-white. And Eel Umbra is the only blue one. Lord of Extinction. What do you do? Power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. Holy moly. I mean, we could just... <laughs> we could just pitch this blue idea that we had going on here and try out Lord of Extinction. Sounds fun. For our deck, we've got an unstable mutation. Sure, let's try to have fun with this uh, with this format. Uh, Ghoul Steed is fine if we are going to go black. Um, oh, another Whirlwind Adept. Oh, this is this is probably going to be dumb, isn't it? We probably shouldn't do this. We probably shouldn't do this, and yet we're going to. Um, I actually think I want this Wild Mongrel instead, just to be able to discard stuff. Yeah, let's take Wild Mongrel. Another Travel Prep. Holy moly. Holy moly. I mean, maybe we splash for Lord of Extinction. But well, we're certainly taking another Travel Prep. There's an Eel Umbra and a Hyena Umbra. Let's take Travel Prep. Um, Alright, we gotta make our we gotta make our decision at some point here. What are we doing? We're green. We're green. We know we're green. We got a Kadama's Reach. Kadama's Reach is fine. That helps us splash. Perfect. Love a Kadama's Reach. Um, still doesn't tell us what we're doing. We're green. <laughs> We're green, we're green, we're green, we're green. We're, we know that, we know that. That's all we know. Uh, another Penumbra Worm. I mean, we could try to go mono green. Deranged Assistant, get stuff in the graveyard, and 
helps us uh, ramp up. So actually, I, I think I'm still just happy being blue-green, splashing Lord of Extinction. Yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's give the pardon. Holy moly! Three travel preps is better than one. Three travel preps is better than one. Uh, Frixian Tower, meh. Uh, Walker, we don't really want to play the first one. Uh, Terramorphic, actually. That's totally fine. Yeah, we'll take a Terramorphic. Um, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We've got a Cathodian, which I'm not terribly excited about. We don't really have a way to sack it. Canker Abomination is fine. Verdant Eidolon, don't super like it. Helps us get to the Crusher, the Worm. Eh, maybe it's fine, actually. Let's give it a go. Um, unstable Mutation. Cool. That works with our Staunch Hearted. That works with our Whirlwind Adept. There's another Staunch Hearted here. Let's take Unstable Mutation. Yeah, another Whirlwind Adept with our Travel Preps. Yeah, this is getting gross now. Getting gross, getting gross. We've got a whole pack left, too. A whole pack left to get things? I don't know what things. So Lord of Extinction, we're filling up the graveyard with Deranged Assistant. We're filling it up with Wild Mongrel, should we want to. Um, sacking that. Uh, I think I'll just take another Terramorphic, right? Shielding plaques, we could build our own Whirlwind Adept. It'd be really good on Umbra. Penumbra. Um, sure, we'll take a Shielding Plax. I don't know that we play it. We'll see what else goes on here. Um, Groundskeeper, I don't think we'll play it. Majoring Network, I don't really like. Let's take Majoring, I guess. Miming Slime, Walker, not going to play either of those. Fecundity, not going to play it. All right, pack three. Tell me what you're going to do for me. You're going to give me a Kozilek. I don't think we can cast Kozilek. Is Kozilek worth anything? I don't think anything's worth anything in this uh, in this format on Magic Online. However, Magic on Online prices have gone up every single day for the last week. So you know, don't don't just go running around believing what a bunch of uh, BS articles tell you about Magic Online's death. It is a dollar online. It is one dollar and eight cents. Not worth t taking. And we have no way. Like we're not going to ramp into that with just one devoted druid. So we get an urban evolution, which I'm fairly happy with. There's a Mahamodi Jin. Uh, there's a living lore, which isn't terribly exciting. Uh, Wickerboro, Wickerbow, Spider Umbra. Um, yeah, I think I want to take this urban evolution. There's another deranged... There, there's a lot of stuff in this pack for us. Um, so I think we're going to take the urban evolution. We're going to cut this walker. We're not playing it. Uh, Unburial rights. If we wanted to try, no, there's no, there's no real reason for us to try to do any of that. I think we could just take another wild mongrel or another staunch-hearted warrior. What's better, staunch or walker, or not walker? Sorry, wild. Staunch or wild? Staunch or wild? Staunch or wild? Staunch or wild? Does this have Trample or anything? Oh, it doesn't fly either? It's probably still fine. Um, with all these travel preps, I think it's got to be another Staunch Hearted Warrior, so let's grab that. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse that we could splash for, along with the Lord of Extinction. Um, we could just cut the Lord of Extinction and splash white for a Mammoth Umbra and for Travel Prep um, redos. But I think the Pulse is probably stronger, right? Um, what do we hate here? Anything we hate? Stitcher's Apprentice can probably go. Um, Crusher can probably go with just one Devoted Druid. And I guess a Kadama's Reach. I don't know that we're getting there quickly enough. So yeah, I think we can cut that. 
Maelstrom Pulse. Um, I don't think we need the shielding plaques. So we can cut the plaques, put in Pulse. Uh, Canker, Think Twice, Treasure Cruise, and Umbra, Elder. Um, we can probably take an Umbra here for our two Whirlwind Adepts. Do we cut anything though? The travel preps are just so much better. So much better. Verdant Eidolon, I don't mind. It helps us get up there. It helps us get the black for Lord or for Maelstrom Pulse. Um, Brawn could be really good with those Whirlwind Adepts and the Staunch Hearted Warriors. Are we just not getting to Penumbra Worm? Seven mana. Well, I think maybe we can cut the Stitcher's Apprentice. Let's cut that. We don't really want to be sacking our creatures, and let's take the Umbra here. Um, here, there's nothing I really want. No, there's nothing I want. I'm not going to play another Umbra, I don't think. Umbra over Unstable Mutation, I think. Uh, if they have Trample, the Unstable Mutation is going to be great. But maybe an Umbra is actually just better. I think an Umbra might just be better. Hmm. Oh, there's another unstable mutation. Uh, Defy Gravity could be great to just fly through for the win. We're actually very green and not terribly blue, eh? Maybe casting this dig through time is going to be difficult. Yeah, I think casting the dig through time might be just too hard. Another whirlwind adapt. <laughs> um, yeah, let's cut a dig and put in a whirlwind. Triple whirlwind dot deck. Uh, turn to mist. Uh, right. Um, another brawn. Brawn. How is Braun Strowman doing these days? Um, do we cut anything for another brawn? I don't think so. Maybe Urban Evolution? I feel like Urban Evolution is going to draw us the cards that we need, though. So we'll take the Brawn. I don't think we're going to play it. Uh, Stirring Wildwood? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted a white source. This is a white source. We're never really going to activate it, but it's a white source for our travel prep. Cool. Get in there. Um, here, not much. We can take another wicker bow, wicker bow for the uh, for the sideboard. Um, let's take a rare. Let's take another urban evolution. I guess. Let's take a canker. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's take a canker. Uh, sure. Cool. We got a deck. I don't know how it's gonna do. I don't know how it's gonna do. It's very green. We gotta find our islands, and uh, maybe once or twice we gotta find our uh, swamps. But holy moly, triple travel prep. If this entire deck was shifted more to the left on the curve, just kind of down here, this could be a stupidly aggressive deck. Grab Defy Gravity. If we're up against a bunch of stuff on the ground, we can throw that in to make our whirlwind adepts fly. Wild Hunger, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Cool, we got a deck. It's different than the last two decks that I've drafted. So let's hope that we can do something with it, shall we? This is going to be a weird mana base. Um, it's going to give me like, what are we doing? We're putting in 15 lands. So it's going to give me like a 12 forests, a plains, two islands, and a swamp. Close. <laughs> 11 forests, two islands. Well, the islands have to go up. We need at least five. Five blue sources. Now we do have the Reach, and we have the Eidolon, and we have the Terramorphic. Black, I think we can get by with just two. One is too greedy, I think. But two, I think we can get by. And Forest can come down, so that's eight, nine, 10, 15. Eight, five, two. Stirring Wildwood makes it nine, five, two. 
Um, Terramorphic makes it like 10, six, or yeah, 10, six, three. I think I'm okay with this. Let's give this a go. It's not ideal, but that's my, been my Ultimate Masters experience. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we uh, actually try to play with this deck. And like I said, if you're watching this on Saturday, you can go on over to twitch.tv slash themanaleek at 4.30 Eastern, and we will be drafting it in paper. And I have a feeling paper is going to feel better. I think it's going to feel a lot, lot, lot better. Um, we're, we're not going to face the same deck all three matches, right? Um, here online in leagues we might unfortunately so we'll see how it goes but check that out it's always a good time we have a, a lot of fun it's much more relaxed and uh yeah people people seem to enjoy the unstable one i uploaded it which you guys probably saw we'll play first here and uh people actually watched it which surprised me uh last time i uploaded a live draft not many people bothered to watch it um this is fine we've got all of our colors we're a little bit slow but we're gonna get travel prep on a whirlwind adept which sounds fair red I don't think we've played against red yet all right you can go over here with the other travel preps red red prismatic lens they're all the colors Ooh, I feel like we're letting our opponent do kind of whatever they want to do here <laughs> At least we won't have to sack this idol on, so we can just throw some counters on it. Anger! It's a 2-2 two -two with haste. That's fine. And then, as long as it's dead, creatures in the graveyard get haste. That's much better place for it. Uh, yeah, let's go with Verdant. And then we'll Verdant into Whirlwind. And then we'll possibly travel prep, travel prep. Arena Athlete, 2-1 with haste. This is just mono red massive aggro, isn't it? Did they win the coin flip? They sure did. Oh wait, they don't have haste. It's, this is not dead. Right, 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 right. Right. Read the card. Remember the card. Okay, so we've drawn nothing but lands and a travel prep. Cool. 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 Liking it. Just as we wrote it up. Firewing Phoenix. 4-2 Flyer. Yikes! <laughs> uh, I'll take four. So what is this? Target creature and opponent controls can't block. Gross. At least this has hexproof, I guess. Not a land. Brawn. Okay. Um, well then. We're going to go travel prep. And we're super dead in the air, so we've really got to find removal ASAP. The mono red four land deck is going to kill us in the air. Hmm. Fun police. So I don't think we have anything, right? I mean, crushing canopy, they just bring it back. Yeah, I don't really like any of our options here. Oh, looks like we're going to see a second color. Blue, Meringue, River Prowler. So it's a 2-1 that can't be blocked. Boy, this is, this is aggro. This is not what we wanted to see. This is just going to wreck us. Um, fine, you get haste. Enjoy your haste. Enjoy your stupid haste. They can't have more stuff that'll massively murder us, right? Not a land. It's another Whirlwind Adept. More counters for the Whirlwind God. Alright, so we're at four due to that. And they've got two of these that can come in. No, we're at... T we're dead. We're at two because of that. So this is, this is unblockable. We're at two. And we've got block, block, block block. I guess we are... We go to one. Assuming they don't have something to target that. If they have something that targets that, we're dead. If they have a creature, we're dead. In addition to the elemental. If they hit a land and win the coin flip and recast it, we're dead. 
This is intense. Now we're dead. Cool. Yikes. That's a big yikes for me. That was less than enjoyable. <laughs> I have not seen mono red aggro. Um, yikes. I guess we lower our curve, get a Stitcher's Apprentice. Um, nothing's going in the graveyard, so goodbye, Lord of Extinction. Try to outrace them. Yikes. Let's go back in, but I think we're just going to get bum-rushed here. <sighs> yeah, I'll play first. Not giving them that choice. Uh, this is, again... <laughs> I think we have to mull. In this matchup, I think we have to mull. There's no way we can just sit around until turn four again, right? Yuck. Let's mull. Yeah, it got worse. Cool. Uh, mull this. <laughs> sure. Show me land. Thank you. We get a mongrel. We get a mongrel. And then we hope that we can survive. Mongrel! I will say this is not increasing my enjoyment of this set. Nothing? Ah, we got him. We got him. Ooh, we really got him. Cool. Well, let's bash in for two. Boy, do we ever need to hit five mana and an urban evolution and get some uh, get some card advantage coming back here. Yeah. What you got? Molten Rebirth, sure. Lose the coin flip, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I will attack in. Afraid of my discard, sounds good. So let's drop a Whirlwind Adept. Oh, this is an ability, this isn't a mana ability. Boop. Stitch's Apprentice goes away, sure, that's fine. We got a Whirlwind. Now we are the aggro deck. Whenever it cre oh right raid bombardment. So yeah, these things attack for two, so they're attacking for four a turn. I mean, we win this race. We really win this race. Um, hey, it's your boy travel prep. Um, yeah, let's come on in for nine. The chump? I got reckless charge? No. Whew. That gave me a moment of concern. <laughs> Alright, we should be pretty good now, I hope. Just need to keep being able to get in with that whirlwind. 5 2 trample persist? Yuck. Oh, that persist is so bad. That's so bad for us. It's your boy travel prep. So, what can we make this? We can make this an 8 4, or sorry, an 8 6. An 8 6. An 8-6. So we could prey upon, kill the elemental. Come in for 8. They either take it or they lose this and it becomes a 4-1, which is way less scary. I feel like we might actually want another planes in the deck. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's fight the elemental. Make this an 8-6. And come in with team. They eat the mongrel? Sure. Sure, so they go to 5. Boy, defy gravity would be amazing, eh? Unfortunately, it's sitting... Right here. Another one! Okay. This is aggressive. 
but they can't really attack anymore. They have to always leave up blockers for that. Ooh! Well, that's going to go find me a planes. Oh, I don't have a planes. We just talked about this. We just talked about this. Um, yeah, it's a pass of the turn, unfortunately. Spider Umbra would be nice. Get some totem armor on this thing. Murderous red cap, sure, I take two. Any target takes two. Um, spin the wheel, what's on top? Kadama's reach? Wouldn't have been useful. Yes, I'll lose that mana. They don't attack, good choice. <laughs> mm. Having a bad luck magic day here. I was playing arena and it was uh miserable this morning. That 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 game's getting very high variance. You have to draft a very different way on there. So I feel like they've got they should just attack for nine here. Sure. I'll take three. Oh, uh, we are super dead. We're just not going to close this out. This was on a mold of five, and we almost had him. Don't be a land. God damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. So we kept one land. So we've drawn... One, two, three, four, five. We've drawn six lands in... Seven draw, uh, eight draws. Um, okay, so you're gonna hit me for CMC. Cool. Cool. We're dead. Cool. Um, that was garbage. <laughs> that was real garbage. Uh, let's go into match two, and let's try to bring that back. But that was a, a bunch of bad luck for us. That mall really hurt. Um, but like I said, there was no way we were winning by on turn four playing a 2-2, right? So I know some of you will uh, yell at me for that mulligan, but it was correct to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll see what match two goes like. Maybe this is a quick draft. If we go 0-2, I'm not going to play a third match of this. This format is not sitting well with me. It's um, it's not good. It's not good. I'll probably do on stream um, if I can. When does this go away? This goes away next Thursday? 19th. Yeah, that's next Thursday, right? Um, I might do a stream of Phantom Sealed to see what the Sealed's like. Um, but the draft, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty readily getting out of the draft here. Um, boy, we'll hit a forest, right? We've got nine of them. Could happen. Could happen. And if we do hit a forest, this hand is amazing. Amazing. All right, let's drop the island, pass the turn. Red, again, hooray. Faithless looting on turn one, I guess. Well, they could pitch Basking Root Wallows, right? Death Denied and a Squee. All right, so Squee's just going to come back to their hand. That's fine, that's fine if you have a Squee in hand. Um, hey, look, we're a blue-black deck, is what I'm telling my opponent. They get squee back, that's fine. Red, black. Generator, servant, sure. Forest? Whew! Whew! So I don't feel under threat, so I think we get rampy here. I think we Kadama's Reach. Kadama's Reach next turn, we can Urban Evolution. This is slow, but then we can cast a bajillion things. So let's go Kadama's Reach. And let's get a forest and an island. Let's put the island on the table. Pass the turn. So next turn we get Urban Evolution. play an extra land, and we can drop a Devoted Druid. Should have taken that Kozilek. <laughs> we could almost cast it this game. 
Spark Spitter, 1 3. Sure, that's fine. Oh. Um, yeah, so let's Urban Evolution, keeping up a forest. Oh no, uh. 1 2 3 4 5 forest, play that. Uh, right, we've got a tap here. Hey, goodbye, forest. Um, urban Evolution, colorless. Green, black, blue, blue. Drop a forest. Drop a Devoted Druid. And now the Staunch Hard Warrior gets Travel Prep next turn. Ooh, boy. Also, we have nine mana available next turn. <laughs> On turn five. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll take two. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Another travel prep. Um, yeah, let's go staunch hearted. We're not using this blue mana. And let's go travel prep. So I don't super want to use this travel prep in case of removal. Removal kind of scares me a little bit here. Um, so I'll come in for five. Oh, it's got seventy seconds. Never mind. I'm not doing anything. Who's the who's the who's the dummy talking here? Um, so one, two, three. We could just drop a wicker bow. I don't think they're gonna have enchantments. Yeah, let's drop a wicker bow. So let's go uh, one. Forest, awesome. Two. Untap. Three. Four. Wicker bow. Pass the turn. Ooh, reckless worm. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, at least our 4 4 deals with it. Oh, this doesn't go away until their end step. Oh, tricky, tricky, Spark Spitter. Tricky, tricky. Oh, we've got the Maelstrom Pulse for the Reckless Worm. Blood Flow Connoisseur. All right, so that'll go to counter if we try to Maelstrom Pulse the Worm. They get to sack the Elemental. Okay. I see. Boy, maybe, uh, maybe the Connoisseur is actually the scary thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've seen ten of our lands. There's only seven in the deck. Um, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Whelp. Whelp. We're going to travel prep. Make this here fella into a 8-8. 8-8. So what could happen here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, they could triple block. I could also make a spark elemental. I think that blood flow connoisseur has to go. So we attack in, they make a three one. They block with the three one. I think we actually get a chump here if we attack in with our 8-8. I'm going to get the chump and then kill the blood flow connoisseur. Come on in. I feel like we get a chump block here. I feel like they make an elemental, block with elemental, sack elemental. We really want to get that brawn into the graveyard too. So yeah, Spark Elemental. Block with Elemental. Block with Generator Servant. Oh, they're going to go for the kill. Oh. Okay, so I get to basically destroy their team. Sure. I mean, that's also okay. And now, I mean, we could kill the Spark Spitter instead. At least that stops the somewhat scary three ones. Yeah, let's kill Spark Spitter. 
You go away now. Alright, they're down to two cards as well. So I think we're okay-ish. I think we're okay-ish. We just got a... Of course, they can just sack it. Um, ooh. Squeeze is still there, eh? Yeah, that's slightly problematic. Play squee, sack squee. Yeah, maybe we should have killed the blood flow cone or sure. Forgot about squee sitting there. When was oh I guess squee was discarded to spark spitter. I was like, when did when did he go back? Um Ghoul Caller's Apprentice, sure. This looks like a fun deck. Why can't we ever find this deck? Um so what do we do here? What do we do? I think we mill. Actually, odds are better that there's not a land on top. So no, I'm not going to mill. Lord of Extinction is currently a 13-13. Dees. Dees plus. Your go, my friend. Can you deal 13 damage? Because I don't know if you can. And we just get to make it bigger and try to find brawn. Sack squee, return squee. Sure. You can do that all you want. Hmm. Let's see what they can do. I hope they can't do anything. <laughs> I'd like to go to game three or match three. Um, I will say that's been that's been the big thing with Ultimate Masters is I've liked all of my decks. They've been really fun to play and I've really enjoyed playing them. I haven't liked the matchups. The matchups have just felt unfun, super unfun. Oh, I also realized I'm in my Twitch interface. That looks a bit, a little bit less twitchy. <laughs> Sorry about that. What you got, and how does it murder my Lord of Extinction? Swiftly, and with prejudice? Squee, sure. I guess they just get to chump forever, right? Yeah, they are just chumping forever on this Lord of Extinction. Oh, I should have milled. Whirlwind Adept, sure. Um, well, let's start the Chump Patrol, shall we? Chumpy Chump. Sure thing. And let's drop a Whirlwind. Pass that turn. Return Squee. Play Squee. At least we've locked them into doing nothing forever, right? At some point we should win. Maybe. We win when Brawn gets in the graveyard. So we definitely start aggressively milling here. And we have two Brawns, right? No, we have one in the sideboard. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. <laughs> Gurmag. All right, well, that makes my lord smaller. All right, well, now my lord's in danger of actually dying. So let's mill. Forest, cool. Dodge that bullet. Uh, do it again? Do it again. Spider Umbra. Okay, could have used that, but not to great effect. Terramorphic Expanse. Well, that's another card in the graveyard. And another land, another two lands out of the deck. There are four lands left in our freaking deck. There are now three lands out of 15. Three lands out of 15. We should not see any more, right? Uh, five, six, seven, uh, 12, 13. They've got 13. That just kills the Lord. So that's going to be a no-go. That's just going to be a great big no-go. Boy, just got to find Brawn, eh? It's going to be awful if Brawn ends up in our hand. 
Although I guess then we just get to attack with it forever and they can just take three, seven times and die. At some point they've got to let me get trample. Squee comes back, pass the turn. Cool story. Let's mill. It was a staunch hearted warrior. Couldn't do anything with it. Anyways, prey upon. You, you die now. You go away. Goodbye. I said good day. Good day. Get out of here. Get. Go. Get going. Get out. Go away. There we go. <laughs> Pass the turn. So they can still chump block squee forever. Still just chump forever. Twins of Maoro State. So we've really got to find that bronze. So let's discard another travel prep. So there's two lands left in the deck now. Two lands left in the deck now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Pass the turn. Boy, if we don't find that brawn very shortly, we just mill out. Like, if it's on the bottom of our deck. Mill. Stirring Wildwood. So there's one... No, there's two basic lands left in the deck. That one wasn't showing up for Terramorphic. There is one land left in the deck. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's one land left in the deck. It's a 90, no, an 88% chance for us to not draw a land. Let's mill. Find that brawn. Penumbra worm. Do not be a land. Do not be. There are no lands left in the deck. We can't draw any more. <laughs> there are none left. No lands are left. We need brawn. We need brawn. Brawn. Spider Umbra. Do not be brawn. Whirlwind Adept. Whatever. Ugh. We need Brawn to be on top here. Be Brawn. Whirlwind Adept. Don't be Brawn. Damn it. Okay. 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 So we now don't have enough time to, uh, to actually get through because they can just let this through and we only have three turns. I can't believe that. I can't believe we have gotten every land out of our deck before we found the cards that we needed. I will not mill. Wild Mongrel. Whatever. Um, sure. Let's come in for many, many, uh, many damages. Several damages. Many damages. The Chump. The mongrel. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> this is about as unlucky, as unlucky as we could get. Um, prey upon would have been amazing to have because we just prey upon our three three against their five five. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So their deck doesn't really operate if blood flow connoisseur is not around. So. We get rid of Blood Flow Connoisseur and their deck kind of goes away. I think Defy, Ra Defy Gravity, I think, can come in. A Crusher, okay. Squeak comes back, sure thing. 
What even do we have left? We've got a Verdant Eidolon. Okay. Uh, in, in. <laughs> mm. Just tell me what was on top. Eternal Witness. Um, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. We keep running into the absolute perfect rares that destroy our deck. Ruined Halo twice on that first one. Squee this time around. Um, what can we do? What can we do? We can bring in another Brawn. This feels really, really results-oriented thinking. Bring in a Brawn, cut an Eidolon. Bring in a Defy Gravity, cut an Umbra. Ugh, cutting an Umbra feels bad with these Whirlwinds. Cut a Wicker Bow, we didn't see anything. And then I do want to cut, I think possibly a Swamp for a Plains. Let's cut a swamp for a plains. See if that, see if having the extra, the the option maybe of running back those uh, travel preps does anything. We'll certainly play first. And there's all of our colors and nothing to do with it. Sweet, awesome, great, perfect. I love this game. Um, God, this is awful. I'm gonna keep it, but I think we just lose. We need the cards though. We need to have cards on the battlefield and in our hand. As long as we don't flood out, we'll be fine. Swamp, sure. No one drop, cool. Not a land. Well, get to land out of our deck. Let's go and get our swamp. Pass the turn. Nothing? Okay. It's our friend Brawn. You should have been in the graveyard last game. <laughs> Taken two, boss. Taken two. Faithless looting. Sure. Discarding Squee. Discarded Scrabbler, so they get to Scrabble back. Or... <laughs> uh, the Synergy, it's really good. It's really, really, really good. All right. We have options. Let's go with Brawn. Let's go with Bran. <laughs> And then next turn, we could Staunch Heart Warrior, put an Umbra on it. Or we can also uh, Urban Evolution. We'll see if we're under any threat here or not. Looting. Okay. Not a huge problem. Um, into a Worm, though? That's going to be a big problem. Twins! Twinsies! Uh-oh. Well, I think we are going to have to uh, staunch this turn. Attempt to staunch the flow. So we get a 5-5, five five, which blocks very well. So staunchy up. Spider Umbra. Pass that turn. So we're holding on at least. We are holding on. Ugh. Yep. Gross. <laughs> Ugh. Sure do love losing to this card. Sure do love losing to the same card match after match after match. It uh, really makes me love leagues. Um. Ooh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
I want that to be on that, but I think we just got to use our mana up, right? Yeah, let's travel prep. Get to flash that travel prep back, too. All right, so we got ourselves an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, it's got reach. It's got reach. It's got reach. It's got reach. We're okay. We're okay, guys. We are okay. Pass the turn. We are A-ish. We, we, we are B-okay. We are, we are B-minus okay. B minus ish, okay. We could also Eternal Witness bring back travel prep. Faithlessly loot. But no, I think we want a whirlwind adept. Um worm. Two worms? What happened here? Worm, that went in. He discarded a land. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Worm's fine. Worm's fine. Opponent cannot attack. So time to build this buttercup up gonna build you up buttercup um yeah boop and 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 all the other assorted boops the various boops have been done <clears throat> so we've shut down the game we are gonna need to get brawn into the graveyard BT dubs Faithless looting, sure. What else are you gonna madness? What you gonna madness? I hope it's a reckless worm and we get to two for one. Nothing. Just discard, discard, alright. Opponent's flooded out as well. Still have plenty of cards though. Ooh, that necromancer. Ah, Necromancer. So what is... What was We saw a Crusher last game, I believe. So that's going to be a good target for Crusher. Yeah, more lands is just what I asked for, right? Um, I don't know. Can we witness back that evolution? One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, well, yeah we could just witness back evolution. Yeah, let's just witness back evolution. I want that. Yes. I want to recast that. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are six lands out of twenty. That's 3 out of 10. That's a 70% chance of not hitting land. How many Faithless Lootings do you have? I guess you're just going to get your Ulamog's Crusher going, eh? Nope. Mountain and a Goop Collars. You're going to flash it back? Boy, that Umbra is saving our butts. Gurmag, sure. That's fine. What else? Olivia's Dragoon, also fine. We have five more cards than they do. Perhaps we are the mill deck now. Don't you dare be a land. You son of a... Now let's get more lands, because more lands are precisely what I've just so desperately wanted. We have five left in the deck. So now we have three left in the deck. Three lands. Three lands left in the deck out of 17 cards. <laughs> oh, you guys come here for the, uh, the incredibly unlucky magic, don't you? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's two lands left in the deck? Maybe I miscounted and added an extra land. Do not, I repeat, do not be a land. Thanks, I guess. 
like I think we just have to like Lord of Extinction here at some point, right? Which of course means it's going to be on the bottom of the deck. They have a flyer, unfortunately, so even if we do make Lord of Extinction fly, they have a way of blocking it. Sure. That's fine. So this only comes back for one turn, right? Bring back your Ulamog's Crusher. I've got some lands that I can sacrifice. Just a couple of extras. Faithless Looting! Is this a new one? All right, that's a play set of faithless lootings now. We are we are the mill deck. <laughs> we are now the mill deck. Pitching a swamp and a swamp. Squee. God, why does everything have a different name? Yeah, I think we gotta go for the mill win here. Even Lord of Extinction will only be a 9-9 nine -nine right now. You're gonna make Olivia's Dragoon fly. Why? Oh. Because you pitched the Crusher. Okay. Like I said, I've got a few lands that I can sack here. Also, oh, hi. Opponent, did you did did you did you do the math? God, they probably did the math, didn't they? Um, all right. So, we can chump there. What do I really want to eat? I want to eat that. And I can eat that. I guess I can trade here. And do we have to chump? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That takes us to 6. Yikes. That takes us to 6. So what if we instead trade here? eat this we take four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we go to five all right staunch on that you on there four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we go to Five. Sure. Opponents out of cards, too. Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh my god. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's one land left in our 15 card deck. I can't believe that. So we Maelstrom Pulse killing that. We block that. We take 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 7. We can activate this. And it has reach. Block reach we take two four five but we can kill something um we can kill the phoenix we can kill the phoenix even though they can bring it back I mean, it's probably smarter to kill something they can't just bring back kill the twins kill the twins uh, but, uh, we probably have to kill the dragoon don't we because it flies as well Kill the Dragoon. Eat that. Stand in front of that. Wait, do we still just die? 
kill the phoenix. Stand in front of that. Wildwood, grab that. We still just die. Huh, I thought for a second we didn't die. Kill that. Block there. Block there. Yeah, no, we still just take five. God damn it. All right. Yay, fun. Um, I'm not going to play the third match. Unfortunately, I will do my outro here while we click play the league match, but uh, I don't think you guys are going to see us match up with somebody because it takes forever to find somebody in the 03 black bracket, and then I'll probably get paired up, and then it's really bad getting paired up and like taking a win away from somebody and screwing over their draft. Um, so yeah, um, that was Ultimate Masters. That was some of the worst luck I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, this isn't going to finish. That was some of the worst luck I've seen in my life. Like, we had 15 cards left in the deck, and we had every single land out of the deck. That's variance. It happens. It uh, kicks your butt in magic a lot of the time, unfortunately, and you just got to bounce back, and that's what we'll do. I will be back next week with uh, Vintage Cube. Legacy Cube? Some sort of cube is coming up, and we're going to play that uh, instead of Ultimate Masters, which I think I'm going to have to come down on as just being not a good draft format I don't I don't think it's any good I don't think it's any good I think the gulf between powerful decks and not powerful decks is massive uh, and I think leagues really 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 exemplify that so let's hope the decks draft format is not bad so uh, Ravnica Allegiance coming up soon uh, but yeah if you like the content click that thumbs up button click subscribe if you want to see more um, you can find me on Twitter at the Mandalake. That's L E E K, like the vegetable, not the card. You can find me at facebook.com slash Mandalake, twitch.tv slash Mandalake, patreon.com slash Mandalake. And if you do have questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see y'all next time.